Hey guys, I'm Spikasaurus, and welcome back to another video on the Comcraft server. Now, I've done a lot since the last video. Uh, one of the things I have done is I have increased the efficiency of my Enderman farm. And by that, I have made it so these guys drop, their, the tunnel that they drop is a lot further, just so far as in it goes to the last block that they will survive. Um, before it was up here, and now it's extended all the way to here. And I have this water, this doorway, because I'm not quite finished um, with the outside, but I'm pretty close to being finished here, and I'll close it off, and it'll look like this. But the cool thing is, so basically, these guys die with one hit. Um, but if I want to use a sword, I can, I can just be like, get these guys, and boom. Um, super quick. I can go up levels in experience just way much, way faster. And uh, I just liked, I like the design we got going in here. It's pretty cool. And yeah, the water prevents the Enderman from... Um, spawning on top as well as um, exporting out as well as teleporting out and same thing with I have a uh, Do I have the elytra on? I'm pretty sure I could fly up there and show you which I will do I'll show you what I did up top to prevent some of that um, Here we go. Oh Almost hit my head on the thingy So um, the ender bug thing Ender bug? Jesus endermite. That's what it's called. Um, hit the roof, um, endermen were sort of, like, going here or spawning on the roof, so I covered it with water, and it doesn't even have to be great, it just has to make sure every block up here is, has water, so the endermen don't go there, or if they do, they just instantly, um, come back here, and then they chase the endermite, and then they fall down the hole, and then they end up right here, and then I hit them with this, and just get them all at once, and get the experience. Now, right now, oh, um, now, here, now to part two of the, our, our updated, um, of the update, I've been doing a lot of enchanting. I got mending on the elytra from the mending villager that we found. Um, I just added some things to the, some diamond armor and, uh, just got basically a whole set of okay, um, diamond enchanted stuff. Cool. Now, if I do back, oh, duh. so I'm gonna go home, home. I did another overnight in the mob grinder, which um, seems to be working pretty well. Um, one of the one of the other users on the server told me that um, it would that that the design would eventually break down because of the dispensers, but for right now it seems to be holding up. So we'll just go until like the rates are pretty bad and then then deal with that. But anyways, we have a fair amount of gunpowder, a fair amount of firework rockets. What was else I was going to say? Oh yeah, our. Um, Hopefully, I don't, f yes. So, I just was testing out how fast this goes, so, or how fast Efficiency 5 plus Haste 2 Beacon goes, and man, it is, it is so fast, I love it. I can't wait to be moving this thing around and just getting super massive amounts of just supplies like that, almost like creative mode, it's pretty cool. But, you know, it, it just super... It, uh, it just speeds up the process a lot if you're trying to get a bunch of blocks for a big build. Meaning, in the future, I'll be doing just, like, super massive builds uh, compared to, like, the stuff that I currently have. But the big thing is, like, check this out. Uh, <laughs> that is a long way down. Allow me to try and explore that for you guys. Oh, Okay. So you probably can't tell. I don't think I can even do. F oh, what are we on with? Oh, I don't have any feathers. Ah, great. Dude, I suck at attacking skeletons. Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of dark in here. Uh, let me. I wish I could just like. Sh it's it's just really far up. Um. It basically goes up to that that layer of white, um, what is it called? Hardened clay, white hardened clay. Just goes up to that, and it took me a very short amount of time to cover this much, um, to take out this much cobblestone, and that being said, we now have lots of cobble that we can make into stone, which that will be happening shortly, as well as we got a lot of gold, um, and gold would probably be useful for, I don't know, enchant, like, uh, and not enchantments, but um, potions, like brewing for like a glistening melon or something like that. So we have a fair amount of gold, and this is all the gold that we got from that one block of chunk, that one area that we just, I just showed you, as well as this iron. 
Um, also, a um, one of the warps is a mall that I can that players can, you know, buy stuff, sell stuff. Well, actually, I don't know if they can sell stuff, but they can buy stuff. So I bought a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of coal from some of the users in the shop, and I was able to trade those things to villagers to get emeralds, and then trade the emeralds to this guy which has mending so that way I was able to put mending on the elytra and I think that's the only other thing I think I put it on I think I I put it on something else too it was the pick no the pick already yeah the, it was the pick I put on the pick so now you know when I go to my uh, enderman farm you hold this in your right hand so that'll be taking experience um, to repair it the, the elytra will be repairing and then eventually I'll have a mending sword so everything repairs within like a very short amount of time but I, I don't have an a mending sword yet but we're close we're close because I need 39 emeralds and I, I think I have like 15 I think I have like half the required amount the the mending villager that was just to the right uh, needs 39 emeralds and we have a good amount um, I don't have any arrows but Man, we have so many ender pearls that I could just be selling. I just be selling them for like a dollar each, and that would be cool. I just want to test out some, some. How far can I get that? Can I get this guy to shoot? Yep. Oh man. Okay. Nice. The the thing I need is like projectile protection because zombies never kill me. Creepers never kill me, spiders never kill me, it's always just skeletons just sniping me out of the dark. And uh, my armor doesn't normally have projectile protection. Um, does this... Back off. But anyways, I'm gonna go hop in the bed, make it daytime, and we are gonna get to building our first little uh, mini project. I guess not our first, but like, now that we have efficiency 5 and haste 2, it's gonna be first thing with like, cool materials. AKA hardened clay. Wait, I could just go like this. And that will be our enchanting room. So I believe that last episode I showed that I had put an enchantment table up on the top of this hill. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that. Um, but one of the things you'll notice is I don't have a path up to the enchantment um, building that we're gonna little, we're gonna make right now. So that's definitely a future thing. And I also added the four blocks of bookshelves that I needed to get max level enchantments on items in the enchantment table. Now, I have gotten several blocks, nothing really, honestly, not a lot of blocks. Um, let me just make these smooth and just kind of get, get going on a design. I have not planned anything out. I do know I want the door to be centered on this enchantment room and I know I just want it to be a little bit wider than here possibly some armor stands and item frames with um, enchanted items you know just decorative type things so I think I'll start off by clearing just some of this uh, some of this dirt out of the way I want a little overkill on the radius just because I don't know how big I want this building to be but I'm gonna start by picking out what I want the floor around the enchantment table to look like and I think red would be like a cool um, I don't know, carpet color seems to make sense to me. Yeah, that just seems, it seems nice. Um, the question is, do I want this to be red and then that to be, um, oh wow, that was, that was, that was quick. Do I want this to be red like this? Yeah, I think that's cool. And then I will run, should I run orange strips? around here in a two by two perimeter sort of two by two like a, a, a two thickness path path and then I'll surround that with sandstone I think that'll look cool let's try it out okay so I've thought about it I think I will do the full perimeter this is gonna look kind of like the um, the uh, the end farm that we just kind of designed in terms of like having a perimeter and then sandstone, but I'm okay with it. I, I want it to be that way, so yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it out. And plus, it gives it sort of gives me a, a theme. But I think I will try with the orange around right here, and then I'm gonna put inside this enchanting area. I will do the red stained clay. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Nope. And then now we get, now we ask, do we want this to continue in there? Yeah. Do that. We'll do that. Bingo. And then there's right in there. Yeah, I think that I think that'll look good. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna surround this with the sandstone, and then we shall start working on a interior design, and then an exterior design. Cause I I know what I want the interior to look like, but I haven't given much thought to the exterior. I know that I want to utilize some spruce or possibly some oak in like an arching fashion around this. Kind of like if you've used, um, how do I say this? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Just like arch archways of whatever the hell this is. Oak, oak block. Let's see. So I want one in the middle. We'll start with one in the middle. We'll go up. We'll go up three. And then we'll start coming out. Okay. Yeah, I want it to be like that with but like three times. But what if what if we did it like oak in the middle and then spruce on the outside? Or like yeah, that could that could be cool. I'll try that out. Okay, I've given it a little of a of an arching, like surrounding on all sides. And then I guess the question is now what kind of wall? Do we want to surround it with? And I think stone would be like a kind of a cool block. Um, it's hard to say. I don't know yet. I mean, even like a wood, a wood and like spruce could look cool if it was like randomized with wood and oak. So we shall give that a shot. Okay, I've just laid in a little bit of like you know just a random pattern, just to see what the feel like the feel would be like you know if it was. Uh, if I continued with this um, design uh, slash block layout um, and I think I like where it is headed I like the color of the floors I like I like these coming over and I like the the variation in color and the planks um, I think I'll probably have like armor stands in here or something like that but for now I haven't picked I just right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna bring this around and I think I'll just continue with the same thing that I've been doing and that has been laying um, laying basically all um, all of one plank color and then like just randomly hitting some out to decide where the where the spruce will go and that is what I will continue doing so I've completed the the randomization of the wood, and I've also thrown just a little bit of like a, a front entrance. And I think what I'll be doing for the rest of the build is like for the outside, is just randomly clicking, <laughs> randomly clicking, see how that goes. And uh, well, yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do from there. I I just want to randomly click, and then maybe fill some of that block in with some other kind of stone feature. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm just gonna just gonna play around for a second. Now I've went ahead and covered the entire enchantment room with stone bricks, and then I randomly replaced like just a few with mossy stone. Then I went around, did cobblestone fence or wall, and then I did um, stone slab. And I think that created a pretty dang nice effect. And what we'll do is we'll come in and do like a little the little flyby in just a second. Um, I think I want one more slab up here. Uh, no, I don't like that. Me want it here. Now we go like this. We'll do like a cool little swoop in. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. Like, just looks like a really weird hut. That was a really bad swoop in. Let's, let's do a different one. You know what? We'll, we'll start from here. We'll do like a nice... There we go, a nice little controlled descent. 
sweet. I like the way that looked. I think that, I think that looks really cool. Just a weird little hut on the top of the mountain. Nice randomization. Nice textures. And also on the inside, I just did some slabbing to pull that stone inside. So I kept those textures consistent. And I just I just ran out. So, yeah. But yeah, now uh, for the most part, I'd say this area is done. Um, at least the outside. I may do a little bit more inside inside to make it look cool, and then. But but I really like the way that the outside looks. Um, yeah. So the next thing uh, to do would be to make a path up to this, or some side, um, or some kind of landing platform, or maybe both, because I think here is a cool landing area, and then maybe like a path down this way toward our storage facility and our main house. But that will be something for tomorrow. I'm Spikeosaurus, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, hey, hey.